Hi, welcome back to this video. So today I'm just gonna be doing the fall bucket list because it is fall now. So I figured why not just make a quick bucket list of some things that I may be doing or some things that you could possibly do for this fall. First thing on the list is go to a pumpkin patch. I've never been to a pumpkin patch before. And it's just a cool idea because you get to just get out the house and you get to look at the different pumpkins, pick out different sizes, different pumpkins. And I think it'll be a fun activity if you have any kids it would be a nice fun activity. The thing would be to roast some marshmallows. I have never had s'mores before, so I am gonna look at some at home s'more recipes to figure out how I can make a s'more. But I figure roasting marshmallows, it'll be it'll be something nice to do. Um, if you own a home and if you have any wood in the backyard, you could just light the fire and make some s'mores the third option would be to donate any old clothes that you have so since it's a new season obviously you're not going to wear any summer clothes anymore so one thing that you can do is just donate any of your old summer clothes and just make room for more winter clothes the next option would be to go apple picking i have never been apple picking either and i'm actually going apple picking next month i think with my daughter i'm still looking up different places to go but you just get to pick out the different kinds of apples and just nothing and do it to get out the house. And I think you get to taste test it. So I figured why not do it? It's something to get out the house. I figured there's something just to do. The next option would be the carve a pumpkin. So after you get back from going to the pumpkin patch, you can actually cut out the different pumpkin. So after you get back from the pumpkin patch, you can actually just carve out the pumpkin. You can make your little silly faces and just different ideas. I am going to look on Pinterest of different um, pumpkin faces that I can carve out with my daughter. If you guys have any tips or tricks, just comment down below and let me know. But I do plan on carving out some pumpkins. The next option is kind of the same. It just says decorated pumpkin. So I'm going to put decorated pumpkin and carving the pumpkin in the same list because after you get done cutting it out, you can paint it or you can just leave it out. I want to try to find like a pink fake pumpkin so if I can find that it'll be really good but my favorite color is pink right away so if I could find a pink pumpkin I would be happy next one would be going a nature walk I'm not really a person that goes for many walks I am a car person <laughs> get a nice fresh air so I figure going on a nice little walk won't hurt anybody just to get out the house you could walk to the store walk up with some ice cream you could pretty much walk anywhere you could walk around the street like walk around the block just to get out the house so I figure just going on a nice nature walk won't hurt you get to see the different leaves and this one is burn the favorite candle so i like the apple cinnamon i think it's from bath and body works i need to go to bath and body works and see if they have any fall candles i missed the last sale and i'm really mad so i'm hoping that they have another sale really soon so that way i can go because i really need some i'm not really a candle person i'm more of a plug-in type of person because I have a daughter and I don't really want to light a candle and then she can light it up and put a fire in the house. So I'm more of a plug-in type of person. But I want to do it. I think Bath & Body Works has plug-ins in the same sense they have candles. Let me know. I think I'm right, but I could be wrong. Let me know. Next one is reminding to myself to start Christmas shopping. I need to figure out exactly what to get my daughter. I want to get some educational toys because she is one about to be two. So I do want to get some educational toys. I just have no idea what I want the toys from. I'm trying to wait until Black Friday, but I might just get some stuff earlier. I have no idea. Next one is making chili. I really love chili. It's just something to do, especially if it's cold outside. You could just crack your window open a little bit, make some fresh chili, and it'll be something nice you can Lay down on the couch with a nice blanket, watch a movie, and just night eat a nice bowl. Of you could just lay down, sit on the couch with a nice blanket, watch a movie, and you could just eat a nice bowl of some chili. This one be a ten of fall festival. I think they had a fall festival in New York where I live, and I think I missed it. I think it was called like the Latin Fest or something. I really wanted to go, but I had to work that day, so that's why I couldn't go. But I am gonna see if they have any more festivals in my area. I'm just really looking for stuff to do to get out the house. The next one is to get lost in a corn maze. I've never been to a corn maze before. If you guys have been to a corn maze, let me know and let me know how it is. I'm scared of the getting lost part because I'm not gonna know where I am, but 
I guess it's for the experience and I just want my daughter to experience things that I never experienced. I never been to a corn maze. I never been to the pumpkin patch. I never been apple picking before. So I'm just trying to find little things for us to do so that way we could just create memories together. I just want to be able to go to a bonfire. I have been to one bonfire and it was really nice. So I think I want to go to another one. I don't really have, I don't really think I know anybody that owns like a house that has like the, like the wood pit, like the fire, like where you can sit around. But I'm gonna see if they have like different places where you can go, probably like a campground or something. The next one is to visit a farmer's market. They have a few farmer's markets in my area. I just never actually been to one. And I really just don't know what to expect. So I know my mom said before, they have like fruits and vegetables. I think some people have like honey and I think they have like some organic like stuff for your skin. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys have been to a farmer's market, let me know. But I am gonna try to find a farmer's market in my area and I really do wanna go. The next one is to try a new soup recipe. My mom makes this really good chicken soup. She will not give me the recipe. I don't know why, but I really want to try to make some of that chicken soup. I have been craving that chicken soup. It's just something really warm. You just make it on the stove with the chicken and the broth. And when I get done making this video, I'm gonna call her and ask her for that recipe. Next option is to go camping. So <laughs> the next option is to go camping. And I think they have a campground near me where you could like rent out the different cabins and stuff. But I've never been camping before, so I just need to do more research because I am hungry. I'm always hungry and I am a food lover. And I wanna go camping, but I don't wanna go camping and then I can't really eat much. I just need to figure that out. I do want to go camping because I've never been, but I just need to figure out exactly what food you can actually eat. Next option is to go fall slash winter shopping and this ties into going Christmas shopping. So I already did some fall shopping for my daughter, but I do want to do more shopping. I wanna get her some lawn johns. I wanna get her some boots. I wanna get her some socks and hats and gloves. It is still pretty sunny in New York for the most part, and I'm really shocked because normally it'll be cold by now. But lately it's still been hot, so I'm trying to wait until it actually starts getting cold. So I just need to figure that out. But I do want to go and get her summer clothes. This one will be playing a windowsill garden. So I do want to start gardening different stuff. I just don't know anything about gardening at all. I want to make strawberries, grapes, peppers, onions. I want to make a lot of different stuff, but I think you need like really big pots. So I need to do more research. If I can like start a garden in like my window, that would be good because I really don't want to get like the big pots and then everything dies and it's a waste of money because I heard soil is really expensive. So I need to look into that night. And I've always wanted to have a game night. I'm just waiting to get this bar cart I saw this nice, cute bar cart on Amazon, and I wanna order that bar cart so that way while we're playing games, we can take shots and just do different stuff and just have like a like a little board. I think it's called, a, I can't think of the word, but it's a board with like the different cheese and like little different meats. And I just wanna have like a game night with my family. I have Mancala already, and I am undefeated in Mancala. By the way, Shani, if you're watching this, I have never, been beat by anyone in man color i am undefeated and i really just want to buy more board games i want to buy trouble i can't think of many board games on top of my head but i really just want to buy more board games and just start having some game nights at my house this one is to go to a winery i have never been to a winery i've drunk wine before but i've never been to like actual winery they have one winery in my area i think it's like 30 or 40 minutes away it's like two cities over, if I'm not mistaken. But they have a real nice winery. I've never been there. So I think one weekend I'm gonna go host a fall party. I think I might do this for Christmas instead. I'm not really decorating this year for the fall, but I am decorating for Christmas. And I was gonna wait until we posted the vlog just to tell you guys I'm gonna give you I'm just gonna give you a little hint. My favorite color is rose gold. So this year for Christmas, everything is going to be pink. The decor is going to be pink. The Christmas tree is going to be pink. Everything is going to be pink. So just make sure y'all stay tuned. And I think I'm going to name the theme like a princess Christmas or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of a theme that goes with pink because rose gold is my favorite color. So 
stay tuned for the pink Christmas and the Christmas photo shoot. Last year, me and my daughter had a photo shoot for Christmas, and those pictures came out amazing. So this year, we're going to be doing another Christmas photo shoot, and this year we're also going to be doing a Halloween photo shoot. So just make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.